Make a closed fist over your thumb. Hold your arms directly out to your sides. Moving both arms at the same time, bring your fists together behind your back in one smooth motion. Do not try to shimmy the hands in closer. Begin by lying flat on your back with the back of the knees lined up over the board. If no board is available, a line on the floor or some other marking can be used in place of it. Without moving the rest of the body, slowly raise one leg up as high as possible, ensuring to keep the knees straight. Upon reaching the end of range, Return the leg back to the starting position and repeat on the other leg. Do not kick or swing the leg or use any type of momentum. Begin by lying flat on the floor. Slide the thumbs under the forehead and out to shoulder width. Keeping legs straight and feet vertical, elbows off the floor, push up off the ground in one smooth motion. Begin lying flat on the floor with arms extended overhead. Slide the thumbs down underneath the chin and then out to shoulder width. Straightening the legs and keeping the feet vertical, elbows off the ground, push up off the floor all in one smooth motion. Repeat the same process, this time with thumbs beginning under the collarbone and then out to shoulder width. Begin in quadruped with the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips, feet vertical. Keeping your left hand and knee in contact with the floor, gently shift your weight to the side and pick up the right hand and right knee. Bring the right elbow and right knee together over the board and then extend the arm and leg until they are straight and parallel to the floor. Bring the elbow and knee back together to touch before returning the hand and knee to the floor. Repeat on the other side. Keeping the right hand and left knee in contact with the floor, bring the left elbow and right knee in contact over the board Reach so the arm and leg are straight and parallel to the ground and bring them back together to touch over the board. Repeat on the other side. Stand tall with feet together, legs straight, and toes touching the board. Keeping your gaze straight ahead and minimal movement throughout the rest of the body. Bring one leg up over the bungee without touching it. Touch your heel down in front of the board and then bring the knee back up, stepping over the bungee without touching it. Return the leg to the starting position and repeat on the other side.
place one toe on the zero line and step the other heel forward a distance equal to your shin height. Whatever leg is back, that hand goes behind the neck and the other hand goes behind the low back. The stick will remain in contact with the head, shoulders, and tailbone throughout the motion. Maintaining contact with the stick, squat down till the knee touches down behind your heel and then return to a starting position with straight legs. Begin in a half kneeling position with your front heel aligned with your back knee and your back hip aligned over your back knee. The hand of the backside leg side should be placed behind your neck and the hand of the front side leg side should be placed behind the low back. Stand tall until legs are straight and then return to the starting position. Begin with feet shoulder width so that the inside of the foot lines up with the outside of the shoulder. Toes should be straight ahead. Bring the stick to your forehead so that it touches the top of your head. Slide the hands out until the wrists are directly over the elbows and the elbow forms a right angle. From there, press the stick straight up overhead. Keeping the stick over the feet and the knees over the feet, squat down as deep as possible. Then return to starting position. Place one hand on the opposite trap, keeping the hand down, raise the elbow up overhead. <laughs> 